In this video, I'm going to show you how to get married in Harvestella. I'll also show you when you can get married, who you can marry, why you might want to get married, where the marriage takes place. I'll even show you how you can unlock the ability to marry the mayor. Let's see. How, when, why, who, where. Oh yeah. I'll also show you what you can marry. I think it's best we first start with when you can get married, as you won't be able to get married until you beat the main storyline. On the fourth day after beating the game, the mayor will come to your house and suggest you find a partner to help fill the emptiness in your humble abode. After your conversation, he will give you the recipe for the promise ring you will need to propose to the partner of your choosing. This ring is super cheap to make, but don't tell your partner that. All you need is one silver ore that you can get in multiple locations, and one crimson ore that you can find in Phantasmagoria, or the Astrum Helix Research Facility. Now, for who you can marry, is anyone that has their own storyline that you can track in your diary. So that's basically all your party members. You can also marry Cress, and yep, there's your what you can marry the unicorn. As for how to marry them, it's simple. All you need to do is complete all 10 of their side missions to max out their relationship level with you. Once you do that, they will be available to marry. To get things rolling, you will have to talk to the Red Fairy. She will take it upon herself to deliver a letter detailing your proposal to the partner of your choice, which is just about as romantic as proposing over a text message. A day or two later, you will hear back from the love interest either in person, via the mail, or you will have to seek them out if they happen to eat your letter instead of reading it. You will then have a short interaction with them, typically in the location you would usually find them, and the chat will end in the proposal. Then they will follow you back to your farm and congratulations, you now have a life partner. If you want to marry the mayor, you will have to finish every single other person's stories maxing out all of their relationship levels. Also, you will have to complete every side quest in the game. You can see how many you have left in each area by consulting the fairy book. Also, if you don't have this statue of the mayor in your loft, you know you've missed something. Once all this is done, the fairy will now add the mayor to the list of eligible bachelors, bachelorettes, and horses. And there you go. The mayor is now your life partner for whatever is left of his. There isn't much reason why you need to get married in the game, however. Your partner will just be a bit of company around the house, and you can have brief words with them if you're feeling lonely. They won't help you out with any of your chores or any of the farming, but I thought I'd be clever and went with Cress as my partner. I figured at the very least, she would heal me for free when I die, but nope. She will still charge you for the medical supplies. She doesn't even bother to get up when you start your morning routine. The joys of marriage. Now that you're armed with all the information you need to start your life together with one of these fine specimens, myself and the algorithm would love to know who have you decided to marry in this game and why? Let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, keep on questing.